all right everyone welcome to medical tutor so this daily short white pass question is from the year 2016 chemistry and the question says the complete hydrogenation of benzene gives the complete hydrogenation of benzene gives now the first thing is what is hydrogenation hydrogenation means the addition of hydrogen for example ch2 double bond ch2 does the same thing as um c2h4 right now if you are to add hydrogen we are going to be having what they call uh ch2 h6 that's ethane this is ethane and this is ethane so hydrogenation means addition of hydrogen to form another entirely different compound okay ethane is different from ethane now we are asked to give a complete hydrogenation of benzene that is we, we have to add hydrogen to benzene now what's the chemical formula for benzene or the molecular formula for benzene that is c6 um c6 h6 c6 h6 and if we were to draw the structure we are going to be having something like this c c c c c c and c now remember it has one hydrogen each one hydrogen each one hydrogen one hydrogen and uh, hydrogen here yeah, also hydrogen and the last thing is this so uh yes these are benzene we have a complete structure of benzene now now there's another thing you need to know before we uh, commence our hydrogenation first is that carbon is tetravalent that is it can have four bonds at the same time it must have four bonds at the same time for example look at this carbon here this first carbon that's the num carbon number one we have bond one to hydrogen bond two to a neighboring carbon then one two two double bonds to another neighboring carbon so if you count all the uh, all the bonds attaching to this carbon here we have one two three four so as you can see carbon can hold four bonds at the same time let's count for the other carbon as well this carbon here has one bond there one bond there then two bond there from this one so one two three four four carbons for the same thing one two three four four carbons this one as well one two three four four carbons the same thing for this one two three four four carbons one two three four four carbons so you can see all the carbons here have four bonds all around them carbon has to be tetravalent it is tetravalent and it must have four bonds and that's when you can see your chemical reaction or your structural formula is correctly drawn okay so now this structure is complete and it's correct because carbon is tetravalent now the thing is we are asked to hydrogenate benzene that is to add hydrogen remember when we first drew a tin when we added hydrogen to a chain this double bond missed a single bond by the time it's big uh, it's changed to a thing we are going to be having something like this okay let me just draw it out ch3 do, um, single bond ch3 so look at this look at the difference when it was still at 18 before hydrogenation we have one two that is double bond but by the time we hydrogenated the compound we add um, just a single bond present there yes that's to show the effect of hydrogenation by hydrogenating 18 we're able to lose uh we're able to lose uh, a single bond to make it CH3, single bond CH3. So this is the difference, two bonds, single bond. Now the same thing we have on here, look at this. We have double bonds. We have at least three double bonds, one, two, three here. Now by the time we hydrogenate this compound, each of this is going to lose a single bond each, okay? They are going to lose a single bond each. That's the essence of the hydrogenation here. Now, by hydrogenating this compound, we are, we are trying to make sure that there's no double bond left there. There's no one monopolizing two bonds at the same time. Okay? Now, how do we do that? First, look at the screen very well. How many hydrogen do you think we should add to this in order to make um, carbon fully tetravalent? We can only add one hydrogen to this. Once we add one hydrogen to this, the, um, there's going to be a loss of a bond as well from here. Do you understand? Once we add hydrogen to this carbon, a bond is going to be lost from here. So which means one hydrogen here, one hydrogen here, one hydrogen here, one hydrogen here, or one hydrogen for each of the six carbons. So at the end of the day, we are going to be adding just six hydrogen. That is three H2. Great. So now, once we draw everything, now we are going to be having C6H12. How do we do that? Let's just make it drawn. C, 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 and... Um, we have another C here. Now, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, something, one, two, uh, one, two. Now, each of these strokes are hydrogens, okay? As you can see, each of these strokes are hydrogen. And notice, each of these carbons have just four bonds made out. Initially, they were having two here, then one, one. But here, you can see this 
there's nothing like that again because of the hydrogenation you have just a single bond there single body and single body and single body the same thing with all of them but each one of them is still tetravalent because they all maintain the number of bonds required for tetravalency of carbon which is four so i believe we understand that by hydrogenating benzene all we have to do is to add the appropriate amount of hydrogen okay and with we, we can't exceed that we can't exceed the tetravalency of carbon and we can't also put less so now by uh, by um hydrogenating benzene we've gotten another compound entirely now this compound is no longer benzene because benzene has just one one hydrogen attached to each carbon but here we have to two attached to it so we have to rename this um, this compound the first thing you need to know is that this compound here is no longer in the family of the ins reason why it is no longer in the family of the ins is because it only has single bond now remember when we have single bond we are talking about a and e that's the ins a and we have double bond we are talking about e and e when we have triple bond we are talking about y and e do you all remember this yes this is basics of hydrocarbon a and e means single double and um triple bond great yeah, and here you can see do you see any double bond here or triple bond here? no all we have here is a uh, single bond so now we have to rename this carbon because it's no longer a benzene compound okay so how do we do that first you have to know that we have what they call cyclo any compound that is in a ring structure or ring form like this that is in a ring form is known as cyclo except from the benzene family okay structures that are in a ring form like this are known as cyclo so that's the first thing so the first step to naming this is cyclo but cyclo what we want to find out what exactly cyclo do you understand now we have how many carbons here we have six that is one two three four five six so technically we have our x six carbon means x right x now this compound i told you the other time do you send double or triple bond here no all we see is a single bond and remember when i, I told you the other time that when we have single bond then the suffix of your compound is going to be what in okay if it is double bond to be in if it is triple bond to be in so the suffix of this compound here because it's all our single bond is in so at the end of the day our chemical formula the full name is going to be called cyclohexane let me write it out here the name is uh cyclo cyclohexane don't mind my writing i'm having problems with my writing board here okay so as you can see this is how to name an hydrocarbon although that's not what we were being asked for in the question the question just says the complete hydrogenation of benzene gives so the answer is cyclohexane the complete hydrogenation of benzene gives cyclohexane remember why it is cyclohexane one the structure of this compound here is in ring form and any ring form except from the benzene family means cyclo we have six carbon which makes it x and we have just single bonds which makes it in so everything makes cyclohexane and the other time i told you that when we were originating carbon carbon is tetravalent and so it must must it is a must to have four bonds made out so that's why we have c6h12 by the time we added six um hydrogen now if we are to ask 12 if we are to add 12 hydrogen to this compound it's not going to be giving us cyclohexane and it's not going to be a possible compound why because by adding six hydrogen to this compound we are going to be having more than four bonds for each carbon that would be almost five bonds and that ex exceeds the rule of the trivalency for carbon which is impossible so that's why it is 3h2 you must first calculate the number of hydrogen that is going to be added to that compound so in your work exam you might it might not be benzene it might be benzene but whichever compound it is make sure you first calculate look at the number of bonds present look at the number of bonds you want to remove to make a complete compound at the end of everything make sure you name it so remember once more any ring form formula is cyclo except from the benzene family count the number of carbon whether it's seven or six whether it's five or whatever and then look at the number of bonds to determine the suffix so that's all about this question for today's daily shots thanks for watching make sure you click the subscribe button for more of this every day yes we have more of this i'm very sorry about my um writing tablet the way it makes uh, my writing rough okay tomorrow we're going to make some adjustments to you so thanks for watching we love make sure you share it to your family and friends that need this video and don't forget to use the comment section we await your question any question you have we are going to reply to you as fast as possible for those we can't use um words in replying we're going to make a video for it okay whichever correction you want us to make make just let us know all right thanks for doing that god bless you